I have a freakishly long memory, and it seems to be out of the norm with others. I can very clearly remember my second birthday. And I admittedly, yes, there's photos of it, but I can, in my mind's eye, still see myself at the table, little teak table, which I still own, looking up at my mother. And I know that I went to the trouble of finding an old toy of mine to put together with my new toys on the table so that it would be in the picture. By two, I very much understood that um, a camera took a picture and this was a image for the future. And I knew my second birthday was coming up and I knew that it was coming for some time before. So I know I have memories from before I was two. It is difficult for me to actually date my memories because before I started grade one, I could not count to 10. I knew one letter of the alphabet, B. I had no concept of time, as in 7 a.m., 7 p.m., whatever clocks. They meant nothing to me. I was completely um, illiterate when it came to numbers and letters on every possible level. So this makes it hard for me to actually date when things happened in my life when I was young. It's very hard to go back and, oh yeah, that was then. Though I do have very clear memories that can only have happened from before um, I was four, from before my brother was born. And I certainly have a very continuous memory from um, somewhere around age three up until today. I can sort of remember being here, there, elsewhere. Um, when I um, was turning four, um, I started um, preschool, and I certainly remember that. And my fourth birthday, I remember my mother was not there because my brother was born. But that four to me feels like, yeah, it's quite a ways long. The earliest memory, the image that I have in my head, the earliest, earliest image I have in my head, and I see my memories as pictures, as short clips of film, is from an odd angle looking at what is obviously a small black and white television and it's a small black and white television near a sink near a window and um, I think based on what I can see in my image that it is a hockey game and I have told, told my mother when she was still alive this memory and told her about it um, and she said there's no way I could remember this because the only place the only time this could have been been was the Victoria Day weekend in 1966 and at that point I would have been what barely just over eight months old but I do seem to I I or well, nine months old um, I have this very strong image and there's no photograph of this location uh, my mother or my parents were in the Okanagan and they were um, as we went almost every Victoria Day weekend as I was growing up they stayed at a motel um, the Sheelings Motel in Penticton and my mother was walking the NHL playoffs, which happened around the Victoria Day weekend back in the day when they should happen. And the angle that I can see at in my picture can only work from the fact that I'm sitting in a bouncy chair that's sitting on the kitchen table. I forgot to mention that my mother was at the sink and I think doing dishes. I mean, certainly her back was turned to me um, and she was doing something, not cooking. It was definitely at the sink. So it's the earliest memory that I can be certain of what it is. I mean, I have other images and moments, but I have no way of do dating them. And there's nobody around left that I can think I can date them with. Um, there's a memory of a spot that I think might be Cal Lake at a point that based on the when the trees are there, I must have been only about 18 months old. Well, not even 18 months old. I would It would have been, um, yeah, maybe a little bit more than 18 months old. So I have a freakishly long memory. It goes back way into the past. And I think it only works this way because my memory is all in the form of pictures. And I can pick out what's in the pictures. I can see the places I can see where I'm standing within it. Anyway, just a memory of where, I'm, where, where, where things come from within me and just some thoughts about it. Thanks a lot. Bye.